All right, what's good, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Buzz Boys. We back with W, whoop the Knicks ass, and don't let the final score fool you, you feel me? Like, it was way more than a 10-point game. The Hornets were winning by basically 20 the whole game. I mean, it kind of fluctuated between, like, 15 to that 23. Kind of fluctuated there that whole second half. But, yeah, we, we whooped their asses really convincing win um Lamelo got a dmp like you know i guess we just didn't need him we really didn't need him i guess but it's just kind of crazy to me um some of the choices that borrego did make with the minutes and i feel like i've been saying this kind of every game the last few games like cody martin played 45 minutes tonight bro what the fuck did he play 45 minutes for I mean, I, I don't I don't get it. He had nine points. I mean, that's cool. Seven rebounds, four assists. But, I mean, it's like, bro, he was three for 11. Why the fuck you playing 45 minutes? I mean, there's just no reason for anybody to play 45 minutes. We whooped their ass the whole fucking time. Um, Gordon Hayward, 36 minutes. Miles, 39 minutes. Like, I mean, that Cody Martin, 45 minutes is just crazy to me. Like, what the fuck, bro? That's that's crazy. Um, Tarot's year thirty five. Then you got PJ nineteen. Well, twenty minutes. Jalen McDaniel's nineteen minutes. Ish Smith thirteen. Nick Richards two. So it's like in a blowout game, we don't see JT Thor. We don't see Kai Jones. We don't see Book Knight. Um, but we see Cody Martin play fucking forty five minutes. Like why, bro? There's just no reason. There's no reason for that shit. Um, yeah, I don't really understand it. And then Ish Smith played 13 minutes. He was a negative 10 tonight. So it's like, well, today's fucking 2 o'clock. But, well, 3 o'clock, whatever time it is now, I don't fucking know. But, um, yeah. Ish Smith was negative 10. McDaniel was negative 15. McDaniel's been playing like shit lately. So, you know, I don't know, man. He might follow the rotation, bro. Because, I mean, he's like... I know why Borrego plays him for defensive reasons. He can switch everything one through five, bro. But he just been playing like shit offensively from the field. I mean, PJ was one for six. Jalen was one for seven. Ish Smith was one for six. Like, come on, bro. That shit's terrible. Y'all combined in three for 19, bro. That shit's ass. Um, Yeah, yeah, that shit's ass, bro. Um... So, yeah, to me, I, I really am curious as to why Borrego felt like he had to play Martin 45 minutes. The game was in control the whole fucking time, really. From I mean, from the opening tip, the game was in control, seriously. Like, if you watch the game, bro, I mean, it was a quick 7-0 start. Like, we were in control literally the whole time. Miles Bridges' career night, career day, whatever the fuck you want to say, 38 points, 12 rebounds five assists a steal a block only one turnover he was a plus 26 i mean everybody played good t rose right behind him you feel me eight for 18 he had 22 points he was a plus 22 he had six rebounds seven assists like you know what i'm saying t rose distributing the ball and scoring you know it's going to be a good game um even going here where he has 16 points feel me plus 19 Mason Plumley was a plus 16. Good for him, bro. He had five points. He had five points and two rebounds and four fouls. So I don't really understand how he's a plus 16. But I guess when you win by enough, you feel me? Hey, bro, that shit works out. I don't fucking know. He was two for two. You feel me? Uh, But, yeah, I already covered PJ and Jalen and Ish. They all play like shit. Um, and then Cody, three for 11, nine points. He was His plus minus was six. So... I still don't really understand why the fuck he played 45 minutes. I don't know why anybody's playing 45 minutes in a blowout. But it is what it is. Um, you feel me? The Knicks, RJ Barrett had a really good game too. He had 18 points, 12 rebounds, 5 assists. He had 6 turnovers though. It was like, sheesh. And uh, shout out to the Hornets as a whole, bro. Because we had like 7 turnovers as a team, bro. Which is really fucking good. The Knicks had 15, so... Yeah, man, I'd love to see it. I love to see it. But, you know, it's not really too much really to cover. Um, I know I said I was going to talk about LaMelo. Um, 
like right before tip off, they announced that he was available. So it was just kind of like, uh, you know, we'll see how you feel. Cause at first he wasn't on the bench. Then he popped up on the bench and he just never came in the game. Like it's not like we need him. We whooped their ass. But um, yeah, he was available from like the first to the fourth. Like he was available the whole time. And I Borrego just chose not to play him. Haven't really heard much else about his illness or what it was about. But I mean, he was on the bench laughing and joking and stuff. So, you know, whatever it was, he overcame it pretty fast. And <clears throat> I don't know, I guess he just didn't really need to play. But Ish Smith did play and he didn't play very well. So I don't know. I kind of wish we just kind of would have saw LaMelo, but it is what it is. I really don't care because we got the fucking W. That's all I care about. So, fuck it. But I got to address this free throw shooting, bro. We shot 64%. I'm looking right now. Gordon Hayward, 33%. Mason, 33%. Cody, 33%. Like, why are y'all all one for three, bro? Why can't y'all make y'all free throws? What's up with that? Ish Smith made his only free throw. T Rose two for two. Miles was five for five. So it's like everybody either shot 100% or 33%. What the fuck? What's going on with that? But yeah, next game, got the fucking Celtics. So that's going to be a good game. And hopefully, a game we can win. I'm really glad we beat the Knicks, man. I, I really just, uh, I don't like the Knicks. I don't want to ever lose to the Knicks. Like, Knicks is just a team that you want to beat. Like, it's like. The Knicks are like the fucking Cowboys, but their fans just aren't as bad. But you still want to beat them. And I need the Cavs to lose to the fucking Nets, bro. Like, I really am sick of seeing the Cavs right above us in the standings. Like, we have to beat them, bro. And they're beating Brooklyn right now, 57-51. to 51. Like, why do the Cavs keep fucking winning, bro? Shit is crazy to me. It's crazy to me. But, yeah, just had you feel me cover this shit real quick. No LaMelo, no problem. There was no Kimball Walker for the Knicks. That did prove to be a problem because they struggled to score and just struggled to stop us, really, you feel me? I mean, Miles at one point had 22, the Knicks had 23. Like, he almost outscored them by himself. And he finishes with a career-high 38. Like, his career-high, I think, was 35. He hit a, a three falling out of bounds to, you know, get his career-high. It was just a big fire moment, like... It was just amazing. And, um, shit, I'm glad we, glad we got it done, man. Shit, something slight. It was something slight. The Knicks is always something slight. Madison Square Garden, too. Love to see that shit, man. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this shit up. I ain't going to keep going for too long. Just had to let y'all know. Update on LaMelo. Um, I'm really trying to wait and see if I can catch the post-game conference. But I haven't seen one yet from Borrego or for a player for that matter so I don't know shit is what it is Kimball Walker was in Miles's uh, post game oh dang I can't hear the sound because I got my HD cord plugged up oh well but yeah he was basically just saying yo I got a 15 on the front of my jersey man like you know everybody loves Kim and Charlotte man it just is what it is everybody loves Kim and Charlotte yeah but there's something I do want to touch on real quick before I do wrap this up. Um, you know, the Hornets' depth is really a big thing as to why we succeed. And, uh, you know, the Pacers apparently have came out and said they either want two first-round picks or a young player in a first-round pick. So, you know, we kind of got to be wise if we do decide to trade for Miles Turner. Um, you know, we don't need to break up our depth. That's our greatest asset. I would literally throw them P.J. Washington in a first-round pick in a heartbeat if it came down to it, and they would take that. So, I don't know. Just whatever we do with this trade, whatever decision we decide to make, we got to keep that core together. Like, Miles, you know, I would I wasn't going to say this, but Gordon and Gordon is a part of this core, man. He, he matters, bro. Gordon, Terry, LaMelo, just guys who can go off any night you don't know that's that's our best death uber just guys who could go off you got a couple of guys who give you 30 any any given night and you really don't know who and you know that's our greatest asset <clears throat> but like i say i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up man just wanted to touch on that i covered everything it was a fucking blowout i mean it's not really too many talking points to talk about we whooped our ass cover to cover 
<laughs> cover to cover. I hate that it only ended up being a 10 point game at the end. It was just a lot of window dressing. And yeah, like I said, I do really wish that break would put the young guys in earlier. I don't know what the fuck that shit was about. And I definitely don't know what it was about playing Cody Martin 45 minutes. I don't agree with that. But it is what it is, man. Catch on the next one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. However y'all are interpreting this episode. And I'll catch on the next one for the Celtics, man. Peace.